Hey guys, so um, I nearly didn't do this tonight. I almost forgot and I was like, oh, time to go to bed uh, early and then realized, wait a minute, I haven't done a vlog. So doing a vlog now. Um, it's weird because I decided I was going to do these, um, go back to doing daily vlogs. And then tonight I was watching a video from um, another YouTuber just that I have in my subscriptions. And I found out that there's something called vlog Vlogtober or Vlog October or something where you should post um, a video every day during October. Um, I saw another 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 YouTuber, sorry, that was doing the challenge, but I didn't realize it was actually like a a thing. Um, so looks like I'm doing it too, even though I missed the first and the second. Um, I think I missed those two days, I'm not too sure. But I'll just do two more, like, somewhere around the track and it'll make up for it. I've actually already uploaded two videos today um, that I filmed last year um, back home in Australia um, of my, of a old rundown dairy in the, in the fields near my house that my father has been killing me for. He's just been nagging me the whole time, saying, make these videos, I want to show, like, our family because... Some of our relatives actually owned the place once upon a time. So they're up, Dad. You can get them. Um, you can download them. I'll show Mum how to do that because, yeah, you'll have no idea. But anyway, um, back to Japan things and things about Japan. Um, today I was at an elementary school and had an observation class, which meant people from my BOE and um, such come to the school and observe you teaching in um, teaching environment with um, a homeroom teacher or an English teacher of some sort. Um, mine usually go okay. So the only times they go wrong is when the teacher tries to do something magical and new and like unheard of before. And of course, you haven't done it before either. So when you go through it, it's the observation class, it's the first time you're doing it, and you stuff up. And so does the teacher, and you have no idea what you're doing, and it's just pointless and useless, and yeah. My key for um, Japanese teachers doing um, observation classes, and for those ALTs that might have some input into the observation classes, if you have observation classes, stick to what you know, stick to routine, stick to what you do. Um, that just makes the class run so much more smooth. And um, it really shows in your class, like, yeah, you know what you're doing. And the kids understand the process and they're going to learn, obviously, for, because they're used to this, this learning process. Um, but it was funny, in my class today, I was teaching directions. And if you've seen the Ego Noto um, lessons on directions, it's got the map and everything. And you go through the locations um, and the locations are like park, uh, flower shop, bookstore, restaurant, bank, post office, hospital, school. The kids love it when you get to barber shop. They they laugh. They have a good time. They think it's hilarious. I'm like, it's a barber shop. We don't call them barber shops back home. Um, we don't have barber shops anymore unless you're really old and you just go to a male hairdresser. That cuts only male hairs. We don't even call them barber shops. We just call them barbers, which are the people. I'm rambling. Anyway, um, the kids love barber shops. I don't know why. Do they all want to become barbers? I don't know. Um, the thing is, in Japan, on almost every corner, there is a barber shop. Um, barber shop poles, you see them every couple of hundred meters. Um... Every block has a house or the back of some some building um, that has been converted into a hairdressing studio, a barber shop, rah, rah, rah. Um, it's one of the main reasons why I don't get my hair cut here. If you can see, I have really long hair. And um, I like to grow it out. It's also dyed. Um, my natural hair color is blonde. <laughs> Believe it or not, look at my eyebrows. They're almost non-existent. They're a little bit brown, actually. But for the most part, they are blonde. Um, and so this hair color, if you can see it at the top, it's starting to come out. You can see 
highlights of the blonde anyway coming through. So my hair's really hard to maintain and I'm really careful with my hair. I like to, I've had the same hairdresser for I don't know how many years. She always does a good job. I love how it looks. Um, she's a top color stylist. And then I come to Japan and there's a barber shop on every corner and it's a barber shop. Not a hairdressing salon, a barber shop. They say they're a salon or something and I, st I still don't trust them. And the fact that I can't speak perfect Japanese just makes it even worse. Like, I don't want people touching this hair if I can't tell them explicitly how I want it. Um, showing them a picture is great. Um, if you want to trust them with just a picture, um, I'm sorry, no, you're not touching this hair. Um, so I, I wait six months at least because last time I went home was in March. And that was the first time I had it cut since the July before, before I came over here. And so I had it cut in March this year, and now I'm going home again in November, and I'm getting it cut again. And the ends are really, like, horrible. You can see them, they're, like, dead and gross. And I just want to cut it myself, but I just, I can't do it. I, <laughs> I'm really weird about my hair, and I have to have someone do it for me. Um, anyway, this conversation deviated a lot from observation class to barbershops to my hair. Anyway, s random, this is what you get. Six six minutes of me talking about crap. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's it for tonight. It was only supposed to be a short vlog, but yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'll keep posting them, these videos to you, uh, to Facebook, sorry. But I'd really love you to subscribe to my channel with the button at the top here and leave a comment below and um, just let me know that you're watching because seriously I don't get that many views I get probably 36 views on a video and half of them are me watching them back again to make sure they're uploaded properly so I'd really like to hear from you guys and just yeah I don't know hopefully they'll get a bit more popular or whatever but anyway I don't care because I'm still doing these vlogs because I enjoy them and it's going to be a memory for me later on in life when I'm old and I can come back and look at them. Anyway, rambling on tonight. Oh my god, I don't know what's happening. Ah! Anyway, good night. <laughs> good night everyone. Bye bye.